In today's tutorial we have three sizes of hats and the title of this video is indicating what size we're working with today. We have the two to four of age size, we have the eight to ten years of age size and then we have an adult size right here. These are called the Ridges Family Crochet Hats. They are quite easy to make and again the title of this video is indicating which one that we'll be working with today. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today's tutorial we are going to work on the Ridges Family Crochet Hat. This is eight to ten years of age. You're gonna need a five millimeter size H crochet hook today and also Karen one pound yarn. You can get eight of these hats out of one ball of Karen one pounders. Let's get on with today's tutorial. So let's look at the pattern quickly together and you're gonna notice that all three dimensions or sizes of these hats are available on one uh, pattern. So it's only one page just like so. So you're gonna notice that each one of the instructions are available in a different color when it comes to doing the instructions here. So don't let this confuse you because not everything that you need to do over here applies to every one of the sizes. So the two to four is represented by this color and it says that one ball of Karen one pound can do 11 hats, eight to ten years of age can do eight hats and then the adult can do six. So you're just matching the colors. So when you're going to do these instructions it's gonna say as we start and it's got the three digits there. So you just do the color that is the size that you want. So say you wanna do the two to four size and you know that the two to four size is this color. So when you go to chain you just look at the what color that you want to do. So it's 54 and the next round it's then a 54 again. But you'll notice that some instructions have nothing like that in there. So that just means that you apply these instructions to no matter what size of the pattern that you're doing. And when you come back then to round number three it says repeat rounds two and three and then it will say what the numbers are. So two times is the two to four, three times is the eight to ten and four times is the adult. So you just gotta follow the instructions looking for these particular colors in the instructions in order to tell you what to do. Another thing about this pattern that you should be aware of, we're used to doing hats always from the top working our way down to the forehead. This one we're gonna work from the forehead going all the way to the top of the hat. Now what you're going to notice in this particular one is that and it's just, it might just be me but it, it could be you as well is that I love working on hats because you can get like halfway down and then it slows down and then you can get to your final steps. This one here it starts off slow in the sense of, of crocheting but as you work your way up it gets faster and faster and faster as you make your way to the top of the hat. So it's a bit backwards in the sense of timing so you're gonna invest more time right up at the front of the of the project and then as you get halfway through it's gonna get faster and faster. So if you look at it from that perspective because I know you're gonna start and you're gonna say man this hat's taken forever but it does speed up as you get closer to the top and just be aware of that. So let's start by chaining 60 for the eight to ten years of age. I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm only gonna do ten at to start just so you watch. So we need to do a total of 60 but watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is, I learned this trick on the crochet cruises and um, a fan showed me. So they take off the hook, okay, and they insert the hook into the bottom of the chain like this and put this back on. So now what they're going to do is that what we're going to do is that we're gonna continue to chain. Just ignore this on the hook and what this does is it allows you to grow this chain and it doesn't twist and it really does work. So you can go like um, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So when you get all the way to the end then this chain is not twisted. So do all the way to 60 for me and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So now I have my chaining of 60 on the hook and it's still in and all I just need to do to finish this off is that I yarn over and pull through both loops and this will make it so that the ring is not twisted in any way. It's actually a great little uh, idea and tip and I should have been using this for years but of course you don't know these things. So let's begin round number one. Starts off really simply chain one and we're gonna just come into one strand uh, into the chain itself and just do single crochets all the way around. Okay, so when I meet you back here I'm just gonna make sure that our chain is not twisted. We'll talk about that and then we'll fasten off or sorry we'll just uh, 
uh, finish off the round and then we'll move on to round number two and uh, this is the most critical round to make sure that your chain is not twisted. So I'm coming up all the way around and I wanna make sure that my chain is not twisted. So I wanna just kinda eye it out here and sometimes it just, it's really not twisted, it's just a matter of how I'm looking at it. So looking at it here, okay there we go, there it is. Okay, so I can see that it's gonna be flat and so you wanna make sure before you're joining it to it that you wanna make sure that it is not doing a weird twist and I'm single crocheting right to the end and then I'm joining it to the beginning single crochet. Okay, so I wanna verify that it is not twisted. See, it's not. Okay, so now we're going to move up to round number two. Now round number two and three are going to be repeated several times in this particular pattern and on a piece of paper is that I have the repeat patterns once we get here but we need to do it first before we can even worry about this. So let's do round number two. In round number two we're gonna chain up two and that does not count as a stitch in this particular pattern. We come down and if you're new to crochet that a stitch is made up of two strands of string. Okay, the first strand is the front loop and the second strand is the back loop and together they make up what is called as a stitch. So you want to half double crochet in the back loop only. So wrap the hook going into the back loop only and then pull through and then pull through all three. And you wanna do a half double crochet in the back loops going all the way around. So just dive into that back and as soon as you do the first one the rest of them pretty much are easy. It's just ready for you to do. So round number two which you'll be repeating again in the future is just strictly half double crochets in each one of the back loops of the stitches below. Okay, so please do that for round number two. So I'm finishing up round number two. Again, it's just half double crochets in the back loop going all the way around. Making sure that you do not uh, add any extra stitches by accident. How many stitches do you think you have left? You have actually one. See how this extends into this one? So people automatically think that that's part of a stitch but of an empty stitch but it's not. It's part of this one. We're going to join it to the top of the beginning half double crochet. So that was round number two which you'll be repeating again in the future. So let's uh, move up to round number three. So round number three is just going into the same stitch where you did the join. It's just a single crochet into each one of the stitches going all the way around. So rounds number two and three are very very easy. Just half double crochets into the back loops for round number two and then in single crochet into the round number three. So I'm gonna just join you back here at the end of this round and then we're gonna talk about the number of repeats that you need to do and then you can join me back here to start decreasing on the crown area and I'll be talking about that after we get this revolution done. So I'm coming up all the way around and it's just single crochet right into the end. Okay, remember this one extends into this one so therefore it's not a stitch. So we're just gonna join it, okay, and finish like that. So now what I need to show you is that we need to repeat rounds number two and three several times. I wanna show you the mistake I did on the prototype because I was confused and because I wasn't reading the instructions properly and I wanna show you that so you don't make the same mistake as I did. On my original prototype that I did as a practice, I noticed at the end of my project I had this one section right here that was longer than the rest. Like it was, it was taller and I was like really confused because I thought I had read the instructions uh, good enough but apparently I didn't and you can see that these are all equal in heights except for this one nasty one right there in the middle. And I thought I had done everything right. I actually thought the pattern might have been wrong as well but it was me. And the reason for it is that the mistake is that I made was not finishing the instruction right here. So I'm gonna have you repeat rounds two and three several more times, three more times for this particular size. So on a piece of paper I've written here that I need to repeat it three more times. So two and three, two and three, and two and three and then it says plus two again. So I need to do round number two again because it says repeat second round once. Okay, so my mistake that I had done is that I repeated se several times and I didn't see this because I don't know selective reading or something and I just went down here. So I ended up with two rounds that were single crochets in a row therefore making those ridges look like they're out of balance. So what I want you to do at this particular point in the tutorial and I'm gonna leave this for you. Repeat rounds two and three, two and three, two and three and then just do number two again and I'll meet you back up here and we'll start shaping the crown together. 
So just a quick review, you need to chain two, back loop only of half double crochet for round number two again and just half double crochet in the back loops and then number three is just single crochets around and you need to repeat that from what I just talked about just a few moments ago. So please do that and I'll meet you back here when all of that's done and we'll start shaping the crown together. So I'm now ready to move on in this pattern. So I've done my repeats and I'm making sure that I finish off with row number two as being my final. Okay, before we move on, let me show you something in the pattern here that you need to be aware of. So we're going to do shaping of the crown right here in the bottom and we're going to be concentrating on the gold numbers here when there is a specific information. Once we get on to the fifth round, all of the rest of the rounds match all of the other hats anyway. So it's just a matter of looking at rounds one and three for being unique and then the rest of them are following in line. You're gonna notice second row and alternative rounds and you're gonna notice that there is four missing and six is missing and eight is missing. And this says second round and alternative rounds. So instead of the designer rewriting this exact same thing in between, you can notice that it jumps from three, five, seven. So you have to put this in between. Okay, so in round number four, this is the same thing and round number six, this is the same and round number eight. So once we get eight done, then the remainder of the hat then finishes off quite nicely. So if you're thinking that instructions are missing when you're looking at the rounds, in fact, it's right here. It's in between. So let's begin to do round number one of shaping the crown. In round number one we're gonna chain up one and we're always going to do the decrease until we get to round number ten of all in the single crochet rounds. So every time we do half double crochets they are simply just one half double crochet into each but it's the single crochet lines that we're going to do decrease. So we've just chained one and we're gonna put one single crochet in each of the next eight which includes this one. So it's one and count it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're gonna do, put two together. So it's a decrease single crochet two together. So just insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through. Insert your hook again into the very next stitch, pull through. And now pull through all three loops and two stitches just became one. So let's just do a reminder of this pattern for this round is that it's eight. So it's one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then the next two are together. So please do that all the way for round number one of shaping the crown. So that same pattern. As you come up all the way around the last two stitches will be two together and that's just keeping in line with the eight being in a row and then the final two are together. So if you're missing a stitch at this point um, you can just fudge it here. This is where you would make it or break it in order to for the rest of the hat to be in line. So for example say you had only one stitch left you did all eight and you only had one stitch instead of two I would just do one single crochet into that one and then join it because that's what you're doing here. You're making two stitches into one anyway. So this is where you would make it or break it. Please join with the beginning a single crochet. So round number two is an alternative round and every time we do this in round number two, four, six, and eight <laughs> who do we appreciate? We're going to chain up two and we're just gonna do one half double crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So on these alternative rounds until we uh, get all the way to number nine for the round we're just putting in one half double crochet. So the single crochet rows are the ones that we're doing the decreasing to shape the crown. So please do this for round number two. We'll see you back here in just a moment to start round number three. So I'm coming up all the way around it's just half double crochet in the back loops only for round number two. So let's move along to uh, let's join it to the top at the beginning, half double crochet and move along to round number three. So round number three we're gonna do a decrease again. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do the first one. So first six are gonna be uh, single crochets. So one, two, sorry I, I have to say it, the first seven. So one and two and three, four, five, six and seven and then the next two are together. So this repeat round is seven single crochets in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then the next two are together. So please do that same idea going all the way around. So seven in a row and then two together. 
Okay, I'm finishing up round number three. The final two are together if you're keeping it in balance with the pattern. So just join it. So round number four is an alternative round. So chain up two and then just one half double crochet in each of the back loops going all the way around for alternative round number four. I'll see you back here in just a moment. Finishing up round number four. This is an alternative round half double crochet in the back loops just join to the beginning half double crochet at the top. So let's move on to round number five. Round number five is the same for all of the hats. Doesn't matter what size but let's review. One single crochet so chain up one first. One single crochet in the next four. So this counts as one, two, three and four and then the next two are together. Okay, so that's the repeat pattern for this one. So one, two, three and four and the next two are together. Please do that all the way for round number five. Finishing up round number five, the final two are two together keeping in line with the pattern and now let's go up for round number six which is an alternative round once again. So chain up two and then half double crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way around and that is round number six. So please do that all the way around for round number six. Okay, I'm finishing up round number six. It's an alternative round of one half double crochet in each back loop going all the way around. So let's just join to the beginning half double crochet and move up to round number seven. Round number seven chain one and it's the three stitches in a row. So one with uh, single crochets. So two and three and then the next two are together. Okay, so the repeat pattern on row number seven is one, two and three and the next two are together. Please do that all the way around for round number seven. Finishing up round number seven is just the last two are together and then let's just join to the first single crochet and this is the last time you'll do the alternative round for number eight. It's chain up two and one half double crochet into each going all the way around. So please do that. That's the last time you'll be doing that and you'll notice the instructions pick up from nine, ten and eleven to finish this off. So we're pretty close to completing this particular hat. So continue to do this one half double crochet in each stitch going all the way around for round number eight. Finishing up round number eight was just one half double crochet in the back loops and join to the top of the first half double crochet. So let's go on to round number nine. So you'll see that the hole is starting to really come in nice and tight to the top. Round number nine. Let's chain up one and we're gonna do two single crochets in a row and then two together. So one and two and the next two are together. Just like that. Okay, so this repeat pattern for this round is one and two and the next two are together. Please do that same thing going all the way around for round number nine. Round number nine finishing up the final two are two together and then you just join it to the top of the first single crochet. So round number ten let's continue to go. So round number ten we're gonna do uh, half double crochets two together and let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna chain up two. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch and we're going to do the first one right directly underneath as a back loop as a regular half double crochet and the next two are gonna be two together. Let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna wrap the hook going into the back loop only pull through and leave that on your hook. Wrap the hook again going into the next one pull through leave that on your hook. You have a total of five loops yarn over and pull through all five. So that's a half double crochet two together. So the next one is a half double crochet by itself and the next one is two together again. So wrap in pull through wrap into the next one pull through pull through all five loops and so two stitches just became one with half double crochet. Please do that same thing going all the way around. So the next one is by itself and then two together by itself and two together. So the last two are together with half double crochets for round number ten and then we just join to the first half double crochet that we started with. So let's move along to round number eleven. You see the hole is much smaller now and let's begin round number eleven. It is the final round. Chain up one and we're gonna do two together all the way throughout the whole time the whole time we're going around. So put two together. So the next two are to get it together and then the next two are together. Okay, so continue to do that all the way around and I'll show you how to close it off at the end. Once you get all the way around just join it to the beginning two together that you started with 
and now this is it. So you still have a hold that's left and what we want to do is cut the string to be to be about 12 inches long. And I want you to pull that string through the final loop. Okay, so you can still see that you have a hole in the top of the hat. So grab a darning needle at this point and what I want you to do is like a closed line. I want you to pick, pick up all the stitches with your with your yarn. So just going in and out of the stitches. Okay, just around like a whip stitch. And I, I get this sick joy out of <laughs> out of pulling it all at the same time. So I don't pull it tight as I'm going across. I'm making sure I catch all the loops first. So there's just a few loops there to catch. Okay, and I go all the way back around so I get the first one once again. Okay, so now that I have it all into the loops, I just simply pull tight. And it just brings that all to a complete closure. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna turn it and go across the top like this. I go across the other way diagonally. So I just go a couple times. I don't worry about it too much. Okay. So now what I want to do is carefully just insert the hook down in and I want to just carefully grab it on the inside of the hat. Okay and turn this hat inside out here. And now I wanna capture the string on the inside of the hat and tie it. So just using your needle just to kind of force it to tie into itself to a knot. Therefore the loose string will be on the inside. And I'm just gonna do one more time. Going in. So now I can just trim that. But I'm not quite done yet. So I'm gonna come back to the edge of where I started. This is the starting strand. And I wanna put my strand into a needle. And it never will fall out if you go in three different directions. So I'm just gonna go in for about an inch. Okay, I just underneath the fibers pull through. Okay, coming in going back in the same direction but I wanna go in a different set of fibers and then I wanna go back one more time in a different set of fibers. Okay, so if you go in the exact same path, it'll just completely fall out on you. So then you can just trim it right down to your work and you'll never see the, the starting. And this is how you complete this hat. This is eight to 10 years of age. And I've already done the videos for the two to four age. And so if you look at the two to four age, you can see that there's quite a difference between the two. If you put them up, this one is taller and it's also wider. So this is how you do this particular pattern. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy. There is the slip stitching line that's on the back of the hat. Uh, you know as you wear it things begin to settle down anyway. And uh, this is how you do this particular hat. So until next time, Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again. Here soon.